Very excited about motivations today because right now we are with Shay Jalayemi, fondly known as SDJ. She will be telling us what the D is for. Today on motivation, we are discussing purpose, a perfect triangle. Now, SDJ is a, an effective brand communicator expert with over 12 years of experience, and you are welcome, SDJ. Thank you. So Thank you the very D much. For? Oh, well, that's an acronym of my name. So my name is Sheyi. My maiden name is Dairo. Ah. That's where the D came in from. All right. And then I'm married to the very wonderful Mr. Jalayem. That's beautiful. <laughs> For a second you. there, though, I thought you were a DJ. <laughs> <laughs> I joke a lot. No, Let's you. talk about purpose now. That's what we're right. doing today. Um, you say it's the perfect triangle, but there's only one word there. Purp uh, purpose. <laughs> where, where do we make a triangle with one angle? Well, um, as human beings, we're not just on earth for nothing. Uh, we are created by God who assigned purpose to us. So there is the God, that's the one. There is you, that's the second point of this triangle. And then there is the people who you're supposed to now fulfill purpose with wow. or for, depending on how you want to look at it. Okay. So that's where the triangle comes from, God, you, and people. Now I get it. So we're taking a look at our individual purpose Absolutely. in the grand scheme of things. Yes. How do we identify that purpose as an individual? Okay, so usually um, one gets into that confusion at some point in time. I don't believe there's anybody that has ev never wondered, mm -hmm. why am I here? But it's inward, you know, uh, the Bible says that, you know, before I formed you, I knew you, I knew the purpose for which, so we find it from God. So that connection that we have with God is where purpose truly resides. Mm -hmm. It's the manufacturer, if you want to call it mm -hmm. that. And then he knows why he created us. And I believe so strongly that the connection that we have to go via our spirit man mm -hmm. is how we truly find purpose. Mm -hmm. So if, it, if, the, if the third point in the Trinity, <laughs> I call it a Trinity, is uh, people, yeah. does that mean every single kind of purpose is related to a kind of service? Is that what it means? Absolutely. Absolutely. You can say that for real. Um, we're not given all the gifts we have, all the skills we have, all the money we have just for us. Then otherwise your life will be so small. Mm -hmm. But then when you have people to serve, people to give things to, people to teach, people to raise, that is when you are fulfilling your purpose on the mm -hmm. grand scale of things. When you in fact want to look at it from the business point of view, mm -hmm. if you're producing for yourself alone and probably your That's family... It, it doesn't make sense. But for every time you want a larger customer base, for every time you want to scale your business as well, and you keep fulfilling purpose, mm -hmm. you know, going that far. So if I'm having trouble looking or finding my purpose, and I guess I can always do some deductive reasoning by looking for what people need and how I can apply myself to people's I, lives. That's so but sound. not very many Nigerians are that selfless, mm. especially with everything that we go through. Everybody has to think about themselves a family first. Yeah. Sure. So how do you compensate for these two very, very wide apart spectrums? The need for <laughs> wholesome greed, <laughs> I don't know any other way to put it, and also that for uh, uh, finding one's purpose. All right. Well, selflessness and altruism is key, but it's not the only thing. The mm -hmm. fact that you are fulfilling purpose does not mean it always has to be charity. Mm. So when you find a service that people need that you can actually freely, easily provide, certainly they can exchange value for it, which mm. would include money. And when you look at, I mean, the richest men on earth, they are not just rich without attaching some sort of commodity that in fact could be in the mass market that they are you know, meeting more needs. The more people you're able to mm -hmm. reach, the more value people are able to exchange for what you're giving out, mm -hmm. the purpose you're giving out, if you want to stick to the word purpose, okay. then it's, you can also get enriched via purpose. Mm -hmm. So purpose is not just about, oh, this is charity, this is selflessness. Yeah, people need a service, you're offering it, and they are exchanging value for it mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean you're not fulfilling purpose. So looking at it internally and psychologically now, what does it do to a human being? being when they give service? How does it help me as a person? Does it make me wholesome mentally in any way, shape or form? 
Absolutely, it does. It, it actually uh, fulfills, there's a fulfilling need it has. There are several people who are actually offering services, but they are not necessarily finding fulfillment and joy mm -hmm. in doing it. So usually it's not because all the service that you can provide for people also has to be 100% connected to your purpose. You identify, I mean, something in the market that you can really cash in on. Yes, you can go in for that as well. But when you talk about purpose, then you talk about fulfillment. You talk about you serving the real need and usually it outlives you. Mm -hmm. if sometimes it's even something you can hand over to a generation a over legacy. and over that they can always get you know something tangible from because what God is sending you to do in the world is usually always beyond okay. you. So is it okay? Is it not greedy if I make money from my purpose? No, it is not greedy if you make money from your purpose. Okay. It is you providing service, people exchanging value for it. Yes, it is something you can easily do without asking for money mm -hmm. because usually we have joy, we are excited to do it. And sometimes it's not also always what you're excited about. Sometimes we identify what purpose is, we might have to learn a new skill and, you know, get out of comfort zone to be able to fulfill it. But no, it is not selfish to make money from your purpose. Well, then I guess why I'm fulfilling my purpose here every single morning, <laughs> getting paid to are. be on Wake Up Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> no, I joke. Are. But um, I will always say that there is one thing to uh, give service yes. or to feel fulfilled that I'm doing this for a person and, yes. also not st and also to note that you also have to survive at the yeah, end of the day. Absolutely. So if my purpose is giving a service that helps other people, it's not bad if I can also make no, a living from not, that service, as long as I'm not overdoing it and over, exactly. perhaps overcharging or overvaluing over that service that yes. I'm giving to, yes, to people. Well, that is a fantastic way to look at purpose. I, I will never you. see it the same ever again. <laughs> I'm happy um, to hear that. And it, it's, it's a pleasure to have you here uh, talking you. about Thank this very specific more. topic here. Very Thank interesting. Very However, that's your camera out there. To anybody who's there who needs that word of encouragement for a Monday morning as motivation, what would you tell them as regards purpose, as regards life, as regards service themselves and preference? Uh, that's a lot to round up in one minute. <laughs> so I'm going to just talk about purpose. I'm going to say that usually uh, we have that need to fulfill our purpose, to identify and fulfill it. But more often than not, you're already doing something in the line of your purpose. You just need to be a little more introspective and get more self-aware. Now, when you identify what that thing is that you find joy doing, that you can offer service to people for, and then, of course, you can do without even getting paid, then you will be able to scale it, do it bigger, and get more fulfilled doing it. Fantastic. That's beautiful, SDG. I have a message much. for you from one of our directors. He doesn't know I'm about to say this. Okay. But um, I heard him whisper something to somebody else instead of the MCR. Uh, I'll the MCR. I'm going to let her know. He said, You make black look beautiful. Oh, thank you. Thank Alam, you. So that's your purpose in life, Alamidi. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, SDJ, Thank for coming. Thank you very here. much. We love your message for today. Uh, Do stay tuned. We have more inside of this hour for Wake Up Nigeria.